beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee and I am a Juilliard trained opera singer. So today we are reacting to Disturbed, The Sound of Silence official music video. I have seen the original performance uh, that Disturbed did on the Conan show of this piece. And you guys all told me about how he was sick and how it was auto-tuned and all of that jazz. So I wanted to make sure that I came on here and reacted to him supposedly not sick in the official music video. And you guys made jokes about like the, the down with the sickness, how he was down with the sickness. And I said that in the video and you guys were all laughing in the comments so yeah <laughs> i'm very excited to listen to this it's gonna be really really good because the last time i heard him sing this on the conan show i was so impressed and i literally sing this song with his version of the orchestra now because it's just absolutely beautiful so yeah i am really really excited and i hope that you all are too guys let me know what you like and what you don't like and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. And let me know if there's anything I should know, like if there's any kind of, you know, information. Information. All right, let's do this, guys. I'm very excited. Oh my God, oh my God. Anybody else? Anybody else? Just this girl? You guys should be excited too. You're probably excited. Okay, let's do it. Is there any sound? Oh, I was like, am I missing the sound? <laughs> First of all, that no si silence like that's so low. And also, guys, do you hear? I wonder how this was recorded. I wonder if it was in like a condenser mic or if it was in this kind of dynamic mic, because he literally in my headphones sounds like he is whispering into my ears. Like in my little eardrums, he is right there. And he's like behind me. And you know those like like those <laughs> that funny TikTok video that's like the hello. That's literally what it sounds like in my ears right now. It seems like the vocals are like right there. Like you're, he's just whispering right into your ear like this. You know, it's really fascinating. And I wonder what kind of a room he was in because it's just so right into the microphone with so much silence around his vocals. All right, let's keep on watching. I'm going to go back just a little bit. And his vocal sounds beautiful. Truly beautiful. It's really lovely. Left it seems when I was That was planted in my brain mm. Still remains Within the sound of silence In restless dreams I walked alone Do you hear the richness? No streets it's just so... Stone. Okay, it's really, really beautiful. I love these visuals a lot, like him walking with the guitar. Is he in a specific part? Like, is he, is he in a specific place that we know of? Or is this like a green screen effect? Dry land, burnt trees, it just looks really eerie. It's kind of crazy. Um, and then also, like, the vocals are absolutely stunning. And he's 
even though it's such a rich sound, his voice still completely sounds like light and gentle. And he's being very, very cautious with his sound. Like he's not going out at, at it. The vocals are so gentle and yet so like rich. It's like fudge. Like fudge. That's what it reminds me of. Anyways, okay, let's keep on watching. I'm going to go back quite a bit so we can hear it again. I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left it seems while I was sleeping I love how he's carrying the guitar and then that's when the guitar sound comes in. The guitar is there, do you hear it? And the strings are coming in soon. There they are, strings. that transition again that was so good it just suddenly just goes pump pop pa. oh my god i love it it's even more sudden than in the recording of him with Con in the, on the conan show it's like very just suddenly like pa, pa, pa. i love that so much oh remy says they're illustrating the desolation of a world left in absolute silence after catastrophic events like war and famine wow deep my goodness um, Brad says something I've heard uh, Simon and Garfunkel's version is a warning Disturbed's version is anger towards ignoring said ver warning yikes yikes let's keep on going I walked alone. he's walking alone narrow streets of cobblestone beneath the halo of a street so gentle. I turn my color to the cold and down when my eyes were stand by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound of silence. Yes. And in the naked light I saw thousand people maybe more people talking without speaking people hearing without listening yes oh i like the sheet music and voices never share yes that's high notes no Okay, so that was a beautiful mixed voice part right there because he could have he could have tried to like belt it out too strongly like within the sound but he actually lifted to the top of his placement and went within the sound sound like he placed it right into his nose listen to this i mean not in like the nasally way but right into the placement of the nose so it's like in the mask area listen no even there too but this is very obvious. Disturb the sound. Disturb the sound. Versus disturb the sound. Disturb the sound of silence. It gives you so much more flexibility in the voice. It's beautiful. Beautiful technique. Yes. Yes. Nose 
French. Silence like a cancer keep pausing but you can't miss these little parts the little guitar little lick da 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 in between sounds like a beautiful like spanish guitar quality and it's absolutely beautiful and also i was about to say like i missed the live per uh, performance version because he had so much grit in his voice and he was like sir fool said i you do not know you know like he had a lot of that but then he just went into it and i really liked that it's very very beautiful this is like a little bit cleaner i would say vocally than it was in the um in the Conan show and by cleaner I don't mean like better I mean like it's less uh less grungy what's the right word like distorted you know it's less uh, and more clean vocals and really focused on technique and making sure that the whole sound is really just beautiful and smooth and then he has this version I mean this um moment of this distortion but it's interesting like the difference I don't know do you guys have a preference of which way you like it better I kind of liked the Conan Show's version where he did go a little bit more into that distorted sound in the earlier section before this one. But I like, I mean, I like both. I just think I like personally that strength. And then also I think they, in the instrumental as well, on the Conan Show, he had like the drums come in a bit sooner. So it was kind of um, more powerful sooner than in this video is what I'm getting. It's kind of an interesting thing. What do you guys think? To, if you if you like this version better, then maybe type like music video. Be like, I prefer the music video. And then if you like this version, uh, the other version better, the Conan show, then maybe be the live performance. It's kind of interesting. I want to know what you guys think. There's a certain kind of magic to hearing the live version, even though they did, uh, supposedly, although I don't remember hearing the autotune, I know that they said that there was autotune and there were a couple of parts that sounded like autotune but could have been vocal autotune, you know? Yeah. Anyways, but there's, even though they had those little elements and he was sick, I still had certain things that I loved about the raw quality of that live performance. And then here, I really love the cleaned up, beautiful, like simplified version of those vo vocals as well so all right let's keep on watching it's absolutely beautiful i want to hear that transition into those strong vocals they're amazing i really love it let's do this The range, the bundles. Yes. obsessed his vocals are just so good like i don't even know i feel like oh my god y'all like a year ago i would have been like absolutely not you can't do this with your vocal cords you will hurt yourself but now i'm like the exact opposite i love it so much it's like i mean a lot of people should not do it because a lot of people would do it wrong and they would break their voices in two seconds but this i mean i don't even know who knows? He prop. I don't know. He's doing a great job with it, though, and it sounds so good. And, like, the, the grit and the excitement of that power is just overwhelmingly awesome. Let's go back. Oh, my God. It's just so good. Ah! How does he do this?
Louise. In the signs and the words and the prophets are written on the subway walls. Wow. Tenement halls. Is that is how he's doing it? And the written on the subway What is it? What did he sing? Hold on. <laughs> words on the prophets are written on the subway walls. Written on the subway do it wows wows oh there it is wow <laughs> i looked silly i'm sorry that was just too <laughs> okay i'll stop <laughs> but that was funny and yeah you guys okay so hans hans mentioned that uh david is a cantor not a classic not a classically trained um you guys have been giving like a mixture of information on him and about his training i get that he is trained i just don't know exactly how because some of some of you guys have been saying that he is classically trained and then some have been saying that he's um like trained as a cantor and it's quite fascinating because i he clearly knows vocal placement you know what i mean so it's clear that he has the training to do this but it's like which training and and where did he come up with the part you know and that's funny because that sounds like the oh, ah. <laughs> oh my gosh it's just really cool it adds a different layer and it's so unique to him you know and i feel like every time i listen to this song though even though i love um the simon and garfunkel version every time i listen to this song i'm like i want the and the people about it parade. like the uh, grit i love it and if you guys want me to do uh, reactions, make sure you leave them down below in the comments um, so that maybe somebody can sponsor them. And also join our Discord because our Discord allows you to um, submit reactions to be voted on every single month. And those reactions are sponsored for you guys, so they're completely free to anybody who wins. Um, and the Discord is also like a nice place to hang out with like the beautiful family. All right. Shall we continue? Type of five if you're ready to continue. I, I really want to see the rest of this. We need to... We need to watch the rest. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. So obsessed. Let's finish this puppy off. I'm going to go back just a little bit because it's so good. Okay. Let's do it. so good y'all it is so good i'm just like oh my goodness gracious i i'm so happy number one that it sounds so similar to the live version because like the live version wasn't much less um you know like gritty and amazing than this one you know what i mean so it's like it's really fantastic that he manages to keep that quality in the live performances as he does in this video it's just absolutely beautiful the production is awesome, and I'm just so glad that we got to watch this version as well, because yas! And I'm also very jealous that he still sounds that good while he's sick. Like, what the heck? What the heck? When I'm sick, I'm like... <laughs> That's not what I'm like, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm like... Mm, sick! If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, 
Comment down below what you enjoyed and what you'd like to hear next, and subscribe to join my BEA beautiful family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maggie Renee Music so that you can join me on all of my adventures as a singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon where you can get exclusive perks and benefits. You can also hit the cute little blue join button to become a member of the Skittle Squad. Skittle Squad, let me hear you down below. Also, be sure to check out the links down below in my description so that you can see all the ways that you can follow me, connect with me, and support the channel. You can also go to maggierenee.com links to find all of the different places that you can visit, such as my Discord. Make sure you join the Discord because I'm a member of the Eyebrow Army, TikTok, Patreon, how to sponsor a reaction, my vocal course called How to Sing Better Instantly, and much, much more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I am sending you all so, 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 so much love. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah.